seven years old. A couple more weeks, I'll be 77. Holy cow. And, so how uh, do you stay so young? Water skiing. Uh, just, just staying active and staying around people. And I, you know something? I hang with a lot of younger people. I don't know anybody my age. I'm the oldest guy in town. <laughs> yeah, but you so, act like you're the youngest guy in town. Well, you know, my wife's 12 years younger than me, so she keeps me in line. That's and, right. Uh, and most of most of the folks that I hang with, most of my skiing crowd are all in their you know early 60s, mid 60s, and so I, you know obviously I'm going to keep up with them, and uh, so it, it's good. I've just I, I'm just I'm so blessed, and I say that because you know I, yeah you know you, you get older you might have a few aches and pains, but I am totally healthy, and I can do just about anything. You know I ride my bike. I rode my bike five miles this morning. Um, when we get done with this, I'm um, looking out my window. The, the water is glassy. I'm going to take a ski ride. Um, you chose the topic when I said, what do you want to talk about? And you said, I want to talk about the power of giving back and making a difference. Why did you choose that topic? Well, you, you know, Mary, I, I get so much back. Personally, maybe it's selfish, but personally, by helping other people, seeing people grow knowing the people and you know and and then all the years that i've known you all the people that i have have supported going to leadership classes and and whether they work for me or don't work for me anymore uh i've improved their lives and i i can't tell you how many emails i get from young people thanking me for different things i've done in their life and it's all i've done is open the door they have to do it themselves i can't do it i just give them the opportunity and to me that is so powerful, and you know, I use examples because uh, uh, I, I just, I just, I, I just see people. You know, I, I, I was in business for 45 years, and yeah, I retired a little over two years ago. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy for me because I love what I was doing, and but I also know that I'm on the last quarter of life, and I want to make the most out of it. And as you know, Charlie and I love to travel in our motorhome. We go to Florida. We go skiing, uh, you know, a lot of places around the United States and everything. So, so, you know, just being around people. I mean, I still go into the office uh, and I pump people up. I love that. That's, uh, uh, I come in now, unfortunately, I'm a hugger or, and I can't hug right now, as you know. And you give the best hugs. And <laughs> thank you. And, and it, it just, it, it, I, I just want to take people and just hug them and, you know, I can remember having uh, a number, probably about 400 people come through our company one time. And I had one of the larger companies in the United States stop and say, I've never been in an organization where you can feel, you can feel it when you come to, you can feel the culture, you can feel how people are because people love coming to work. People like the environment. It doesn't mean every day was perfect, but you know something, we embrace each other we understood each other and to me that's what life's about and and i'm just believing and investing in my team has, has what's made me successful but you know i i learned so much more when back 15 so years ago uh i i always thought i was doing pretty good and i was nominated to go to a leadership class as you know and uh this was before uh, driven was in business so <laughs> that's okay and, <laughs> that that changed my life and uh, and it was so powerful that i came back and i i, I went to, to i wanted to share it with people and and i started with my key employees and it's, it's funny because as you know you get out on that skinny branch it scares people and so people were hiding in the bathroom afraid i was going to ask them to go <laughs> <laughs> well you never can say no to frank <laughs> but once i once I had people start going, I saw my company change and become so much stronger. I saw the people around me. I just you so live Giver's Game. And I've seen it just over all the years that I've known you. And just your heart to give second chances. Your heart, it's like you have, you don't just have a bleeding heart. You literally have a bleeding heart. Yet at the same time, you know how to set boundaries. And when I look at you and just who you are and how you live your life um have you ever had where you've given to someone where it's ever come back to bite you in the butt uh, yeah sure i have and i will tell you people used to say why do you invest so much why do you keep 
why do you spend money on your employees? Why do you, you know, I, I said, be, I'm a firm believer that you're never going to have 100% success. But if you get 80, 85% success, uh, that's so satisfying. And, and yes, I've had, I, I've had people come back and, and say this, that, you know, I've, I've sent them off to uh, stuff that has ruined their life and this and that. And, and, and I, I'm sitting there, wait a minute. I, I, I gave you the opportunity. You didn't have to go. I wanted you to go to better your life. And uh, same way. And, and uh, you know, there's many different personalities, Mary. And, and I do my best to tr attempt to understand the good side and the bad side of people. Because I think that I've always surrounded myself in business with people that were smarter than me, I felt, in different fields. I'm the people person. I'm the mediator. I can, I can bring people together. But I know that's, this person's got this talent, this person's got that talent, and that's what makes a successful company. That's what makes life successful. You can't know everything and do everything yourself. It doesn't work.